now with 7 First Alert Weather. This is 7 Eyewitness News at 5.30. The last thing she said to her son, according to Christopher, the one eyewitness, was climb on my back, and he did, which pushed her underwater. She gave her life up to save her son. That's a true hero. A good Samaritan risks his life to try and save a mother and her young son. Good evening once again. Our top story tonight. As soon as Bob Steckley heard the screams for help on Friday night, when three people went into the Niagara River, he grabbed his life jackets, threw caution to the wind, and jumped into the water. A mother and father died, but a child survived. Tonight, Steckley shares his story with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps. I don't want to have to do this ever again. <laughs> Bob Steckley moved into his house on Niagara Boulevard in Fort Erie two years ago, right on the waterfront. Never ever once when we moved here did you think about what may happen in the river. But three weeks after he moved in, heard some screaming from across the street and saw a head bobbing down in the water. That person suffered a stroke and fell into the river. Bob helped to rescue him with life jackets he kept in his home. After that I said I'm going to keep the life jackets in the front hall closet because living here it's probably going to happen again. Unfortunately it did happen again this past Friday evening. And I could see the little boy in the water and I could see something else in the water. Threw the life jacket on dove in, swam to him. As I got closer, I could see it was another person in the water. Bob says the boy's name is Tatum and that the other person was his mother, Amanda. And actually swam to shore, pushing him in front of me while I pulled the mother. Bob was able to bring Amanda from the Niagara River over by these rocks to these trees where he could lay her flat and start performing CPR. And for this, he's being called a hero, but he says he's not the one that deserves the credit. Then Amanda's a hero? She gave her life for her son, and she needs to be remembered as such. Bob says Amanda was not as lucky as her son. She was taken off life support on Saturday. A friend of the family has started a GoFundMe page for uh, funeral expenses for Amanda, as well as uh, money to help out with the, uh, the children. You can find information on how to help out on our website, wkbw.com. In Fort Erie, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.